All right, guys, we got a 2006 uh, Chevy HHR here. I'm gonna show you how to replace your front brake pads. I got all my setup here. I got my ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket that are uh, f flat screwdrivers so we can pry out the old brake pads. A metal toothbrush and caliper piston compressor. I don't have any um, brake cleaner or grease with me, but it should be okay. So I'm gonna place my camera here. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. So, first step is we're going to remove the two bolts, which is 14. If it's too tight, you can use a mallet to hit your ratchet with so you can break it loose. slide your caliper out and all we're gonna do is we're gonna pry out the old brake pads as you can see this is there's barely anything left in this one all right so we're gonna place it right up against that piston and then we're gonna use our this little tool to push the piston back in now while you're doing this, what you're doing is you're pushing the old brake uh, fluid up in that reservoir. So what you want to make sure is you have that cap off. And if you got too much brake fluid in there, it's going to overflow. So what you want to do is you want to suck some of it out. Or you can release the this valve right here and then your old brake fluid will come out of it and we're not going to do all that that's too messy just gonna place the front brake pads keep compressing it all the way in until it stops look like now now that we have that done we're just gonna scrape off some of these brake dust now, careful not to breathe this in this is not good for you All right. when you're placing it here be careful because it could fall off and it could shatter your uh, brake fluids so if you got a something to clamp it on in the strut the spring go ahead and do that I'm not gonna do it just because I know I'm not gonna drop it make sure these two pins slide in and out freely like that if they don't you got to take it off clean it and then put new grease in it this one didn't come with any with no hardware at all So what I'm going to do is we're just going to scrape it off as good as we can. Alright, now we're going to put the new brake pads in, it goes in like this. One and then the back two. Okay, now I am fully aware that the rotor has to be replaced because this one is showing some uh, wear in them. So you can either replace it or remove it, take it to a shop, 
and have them resurface it. But we're not gonna do all this. Um, this one I'm currently driving myself right now. Um, I just wanna replace the brake pads. So, so we're not gonna do anything with the rotors, but the proper way to do it is to go ahead and replace the rotors if you feel any uneven wear over here. And we're supposed to grease them, but I'm not gonna do all that. I know there's gonna be a lot of you guys watching this saying, oh, you're supposed to do this and this. I don't care about all that right now. I'm just showing you the basics of replacing the brake pads on this. So make sure when you put your caliper back on, this is not all twisted. Put it back on the same way it came out. You see this piece right here? I'm gonna show you in a second. So when you're putting your bolt, your caliper bolt back on, it's supposed to sit flush right there. That's what stops it from spinning. That's what it should look like. This one, do the bottom one. Um, do the same for the other side. Make sure that your brake fluid is topped off after you uh, replace the brake pads. Now, before you take it for a test drive, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go inside the car and you're gonna pump that brake pedal about three or four times until it gets hard. And then you can take her for a test drive. Put your wheel back on. And that's it. I hope this video helped you. If you got any questions, comment below. Clink, uh, click, I said clink. Click on that subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching.